This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. It's a beautiful day. It's an awesome day. It's a day of victory. A day of testimony. A day of the goodness of God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Marabosha. Riko sotaye. Mableshtia telebro sotala rikebro. We magnify you, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Adonai. We celebrate your goodness, your grace, your favor. Minister to your people in a very special way this morning. Let there be testimonies from today's morning glow. Let somebody walk in supernatural grace, victory, and testimony in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome to Morning Glow. Trust in the Lord that you will be blessed, you will be favored, the grace of God will touch your life. You will have reasons to magnify God in the name of Jesus. We'd like to welcome you from the four corners of the earth, wherever you are joining from. Let us know this morning so we can appreciate, thank God, celebrate for you. He that winneth souls is wise. That's what the scripture says. So why don't you take the time in the simplicity of just sending a link. You never know how many lives you save, whom you protect, whom you bring out of situations. So this morning, may I encourage you wherever you are, take your phone and send a link or whether it's your iPad. Invite somebody to be with us today. Let them be experience, let them experience the blessings of God, the favor of God, the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Tetford and Norfolk, we welcome you this morning. God bless you in Jesus' name. Durban, South Africa, Saubona. God bless you richly this morning. Ketoshe yede berende rosa libra de talere bakata lere boko soto yandere kasha. Yeda do shayada da boko soto ya. Wherever you've joined from, let us know. Let us know. Let us know. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. East, west, north, south, let's know where you're joining from this morning. May you be blessed. <clears throat> I have a word in southeast London. God bless you. Tim Smith, I have a word was where we stayed when we came to pastor in England. February 1984, 39 years. Pretoria, South Africa, Saubona Kunjani. God bless you this morning. May you be favored, sudden and sorry. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Abidjan in Ivory Coast. Blessings of the Lord on you the day in Jesus' name. Warwickshire, the Lord bless you richly in the name of the Lord. Mesolabia, Telerebo, Kosha, Shalaroa in Belgium. The Lord bless you richly today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Sudden and sorry again. Blessing Dagnam. God bless you. Free town Sierra Leone. May you be highly favored in the name of Jesus. Houston, Texas. Be blessed. Be favored. Ikorodu, Nigeria. Favorite city. God bless you this morning. Ayate Koso Rabake Talere Kayada. Libosh, the blessings of the Lord rest on you. Bedfordshire, blessings. Johannesburg, <clears throat> South Africa, Saobona, God bless you this morning. Kumasi, Ghana, blessings, blessings, blessings. The Docklands in London, blessings on you in the name of Jesus. Rona, Yedish, we speak the blessings of the Lord on all the people on the platform today. Warwickshire, blessings. Woodgrain, blessings. Soweto in South Africa. Saubona, Akosombo in Ghana. God bless you. 
richly in the name of Jesus. Blessings. Nothing I'm sure. God bless you. United Kingdom. Blessing and favor rest on you today. May you be favored. May you be lifted by the grace of Jesus Christ. May you have a testimony. Abuja, Nigeria. God bless you today. Abarosha, Basing Stoke in Hampshire. Blessings on you. Tetford in Norfolk. Be blessed and highly favored. Yonkers in New York. The Lord bless you today. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Dagenham. Backcountry in Dagenham, Essex. God bless you today. Renedoshi, Dididi, Branadiri, Kotolo, Rodabaske, Yaradosha. Those who are on the various other platforms, let us know where you're joining from. Those who are particularly on uh, Instagram, let us know where you're joining from. If you have also uh, the X, uh, what did we used to call X before? Twitter, make sure you join us. Uh, St. Paul's Bristol, blessings, Sierra Leone, blessings. Uh, the kingdom of Lesotho. The Lord bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. Rotherham in London. Blessings, blessings, blessings. KRCC, Maryland. May you be lifted all the time in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maputo in Mozambique. God bless you richly Jesus name Chafford hundred Essex blessings on you today may the blessings of the Lord rest on somebody be on the platform today in a very special way may you experience the grace of God the power of God in the name of Jesus, may blessings never cease in your house. May grace never cease in your house. He la boko shoye kateta la rabota. He kozoro na kaye telo rozo keyata la raba. We declare today that somebody is breaking through. Remember, join and call your friends to. Join us for on, I mean for on common breakthrough for all around breakthrough. Monrovia, Liberia, blessings on you. Lucky Gardens in Lagos, blessings in the name of Jesus. Vundok, Namibia, blessings. Swiss Cottage, London, blessings. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, Hamsha, blessings on you today in the name of Jesus. We speak the blessings of God on everyone on the platform. St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, God opens doors for you and shows you favor and blesses you, and gives you victory in the name of Jesus. Wherever you have joined from this morning, we trust the Lord that you will be blessed and you will experience the grace of God. Rina baro shetele de de da da tilim bro koso yatala rikoso tala rababa in Jesus name wherever you have joined from me today be unique 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 breakthrough is when God invades a situation and removes the barriers I love that scripture again which we read Micah two thirteen. Their Messiah will go ahead of them and he will forge a way and they will follow him. <laughs> Glory to God. But this morning in the book, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 10 from verse 1, then Samuel took a, a bowl of oil and poured it upon Saul's head and kissed him and said, is it not because the Lord hath anointed you to be captain over his inheritance? When you leave me today, you shall 
find two men by Rachel's sepulcher in the border of Benjamin at Zelza. They will see, they will say to you, the donkeys you went to seek are found. And lo, your father has left the care of the donkeys and, and sorroweth for you, saying, What shall I do for my son? Then shalt thou go on forward from thence, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor. And there shalt meet thee three men going up to God to, Beth, to Bethel, one carrying three goats, another carrying three loaves of bread, the third carrying a bottle of wine. They will salute you. They will give you bread. And you shall receive it from their hand. You shall come to the hill of God, where is the garrison of the Philistines. It shall come to pass when you come thither. You shall meet a company of prophets coming down from high, from the high place with a psaltery and tablet and a pipe and a harp. You shall prophesy with them. The Spirit of the Lord will come upon you. Glory to God. And you shall be turned to another man. This is all round breakthrough. From a non-entity to a celebrity. From, from, from grass to grace. That's what happened to Saul. And when you experience breakthrough, you never experience breakdown. Somebody is going to experience breakthrough, not breakdown. And this man, in his own case, his breakthrough was not because he met some nice person, but because power came upon him. The power of God changed everything. The power of God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, began to network him for all his blessings. Ah, I pray for you, may the anointing come upon you. The anointing is God's supernatural power that breaks upon the natural situations of men, destroying yokes, removing burdens, releasing joy, and blessing such people. When the anointing comes, it makes you captain over God's inheritance. That's what happened to Saul. A nobody. God went, picked him out of the crowd. He was not one of the elders before. But the anointing released him into his assignment. That's your portion. You want to waste your life. You want to waste your destiny. But you will spend your years, your days, carrying out your assignment, becoming captain over God's inheritance. Number two, the anointing helps you to recover losses. Lost years shall be recovered. Lost grounds shall be recovered. Lost favors shall be recovered. All right. Hey, somebody's on today from Kiasis, even Doc Namodia. Blessings on you. It's been some time I was there. I am trusting God 2024, Southern Africa. I shall come. Kiasis, South Africa, would bought them a nice building. Should go and Hold some revival there, heal some sick people, set some captives free, and see God move mightily. Glory to God. So when the anointing comes, it helps you to recover losses. Recover losses. He was looking for a lost donkey, and they came to tell him what you have lost is has been found. But what is it that he lost? Ah... Uh, he thought he was just donkey. They didn't know he was looking for destiny. And for somebody today, everything you've lost shall be recovered. You will you recover your health. You recover peace of mind. You recover relationships. You recover ministry. You recover your finances. You recover the anointing. You recover your joy. You recover relationships. You recover connections in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. When the anointing comes, it releases you for direction. <laughs> for three days, this guy was directionless. He was searching everywhere looking for a donkey. How many people groping in dark nights looking for what was never lost in the first place. But because they are looking in the dark, they are using the wrong light to search for destiny. Can you imagine a man who is using a tiny search light, a tiny torch light, to look for something that is 10 miles away? You need a massive light that will beam on the situation and expose what has been hidden from you all these years. 
I prophesy you this morning. That day of directionless life is over in your life. All round breakthrough, including direction, clarity, purpose. One day of service achieving what you used to achieve in a year. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. But once the anointing comes, he moves in the direction from directionless life to a to <laughs> a pinpoint keyhole on the spot bull's eye direction. Praise God. Many years ago, we used to have a guy on uh, on TV in the UK, and when they played darts, and the thing hits the bull's eye. You hear the sound. It's a bull's eye. <laughs> I pray for you today. God will give you a bull's eye hitting of target. No wastage of life. No wastage of destiny. No wastage of your purpose. Please shout amen wherever you are. When the anointing comes, not only does it give you direction, the anointing destroys stagnation. This guy was not making progress. He has, <laughs> you know, he has presence physically. He was taller than everybody, but no progress. Stagnation in his life. Uh, in my village, you say he has a body, but no engine. Uh, Saul had body, but no engine. Uh, but all changed when the anointing came from stagnation to direction. From stagnation to movement. Anointing to move is coming on you. Anointing releases you from stagnation to acceleration. From stagnation to acceleration. From stagnation to acceleration. You begin to move forward. Things begin to happen. Suddenly, doors begin to open spontaneously. As if they sent to each other because the realm of the spirit is involved in your story. You just find that somebody you haven't seen in 10 years suddenly comes to make it to give you the key you need for the next door. Uh, somebody somewhere shows up from somewhere to give you the key for the next five years. Somebody makes a mistake and blesses you <laughs> when the anointing comes on you. Oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. One person's mistake opens major doors for you in the name of Jesus. When the anointing comes, the next blessing upon your life is an enhancement of relationships. You don't need everybody. Don't forget I said that. Don't forget I told you. You don't need everyone. Some of you, you are wasting your time, your life, dragging your life with old relationships that are now uh, 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 a millstone around your neck, pulling you down when you should be swearing. You don't need some relationships. The devil may have even arranged some to continue when they are now just a a a a a millstone around your neck I told Saul when you go from here you will meet people who will bring you bread who will bring you wine who will bring you lamb bread for sacrifice for 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 service uh wine for celebration Lamb for sacrifice, service, celebration, sacrifice, service, celebration, sacrifice. Ah, God is arranging something awesome for someone because God is about to bring you into all round breakthrough, all round breakthrough, all round breakthrough, all round breakthrough, all round breakthrough. What was the key for Saul? The servant told him, let's look for a man of God. And they took a seed and put in the hand of their man of God. That's how this kingdom works. Every kingdom has its protocol. That's how this kingdom works. This morning, I prophesied to your life that you are coming 
and to all round breakthrough. Suddenly, whoever saw Saul three months ago, two months ago, one month ago, they will just find that he's a new man. Father, we bless your name. Today we celebrate your goodness and your grace. 7th of December, you gave us the privilege of seeing 12 months of the year. To you be glory, to you be honor, to you be adoration. We thank you. 24 days to the end of the year, we're alive, we're strong, we're counted among the living. We bring all the glory to you, we bring all the praise to you. You deserve the glory and the honor, we thank you. God of all round breakthroughs, we bless you. God who does awesome things, we bless you. We thank you. We celebrate all that you did for us. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Thank you for opening doors. Thank you for shutting the mouth of devils. Thank you for giving us victory. Thank you for the voice of the Holy Spirit guiding us, leading us. And, it, and the same man of God told Saul, he said, when you leave me, I see three men waiting for you. One is holding bread for <laughs> satisfaction. Second one is holding lamb for sacrifice. The third is holding wine for celebration. They will come into your life. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for direction. We thank you for ordering our steps. We thank you for being in our journey. Thank you, Jesus, for salvation. Thank you for washing us with your precious blood and writing our name in the book of life. <laughs> we will not go to heaven as strangers anymore. Our name is in the book of life. Our name is in the book of life. Our name is in the book of life. Written with the precious hand of the Savior himself. <laughs> and when they open the book, they will see my name. And he shall read in front of it, paid for. All his debt paid for. Glory to God. Yabale Shakaya. Even when we did not know, paid for. Thank you for paying for us. To you be glory. To you be honor. In Jesus' name. Nere Katale. Arabatale Roshayaka. Every time I'm in Africa, on Sunday after the services, I've preached to London. I go to some of the good restaurants for Sunday lunch. And one of those days, you will always have somebody who paid for your lunch. But the last time I was there, a beautiful, fantastic pastor, man of honor, paid for my lunch and told them, don't tell him until I'm gone. Even when I did not know someone had paid the price for me. When we did not know, oh God, you paid the price for us. You settled our bill. And when we came there, we found out, and the old account was settled long ago. <laughs> and the records bear below that he washed my sins away. And the old record was settled long ago. Thank you for settling our record. Our record of sinful debts, you settled it. Our record of eternal damnation to hell. You settled it. You wrote our name in the book of life. You called us your own. We are now sons and daughters of God. John chapter 1 verse 12. You gave us the right, the authority, the permission. Exhusia, <laughs> that is in Greek, mean the right, the right to be called the sons of God. Thank you for what you've done for us. Take the glory, take the praise, take the honor. Ah, and your word cannot lie. Romans 8, 32. He who gave his begotten son, how will he not give every other thing with him? So this morning upon this altar, somebody is holding on to you as we are coming to the end of the year and we are at the door of a new year. You've done it before you will do it again. And so this morning,
I prophesy unto the life of your people. All round breakthrough. 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 Every area, including the ones we didn't even know and didn't pray about. For your word cannot lie. Your word is so all-encompassing. It says, and now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ever even remember or dare to ask for or think of or pray for. Ah, according to the dynamic power that is working on the inside of us. For it is you, that dynamic power working inside of us, is you for it. Inside of us is now your temple. Inside of us is now your home. Your home is not somewhere in the sky, but inside us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this morning, somebody on this altar prophesying to your life, your destiny will rise, it will shine. Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. Arise and shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You will not repeat your father's devils. You will not repeat your mother's devils. <laughs> Even if you have been born in some tiny village in Kenya, Uganda, Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, wherever, uh, some tiny village near Ochorayos, Jamaica, your destiny will rise. Where you were born has nothing to do with where you are going. Where you were born was an arrival point. Kayara, Hirada, Tarara, Kerere, Tararo, Shidera. I prophesy to your life today. Destiny rises, 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 destiny rises. In the name of Jesus, every yoke of the enemy that is trying to hold you. Isaiah 10, 27, the, the anointing destroys the yoke. The anointing destroys the yoke. He said, when you leave me, when you leave me, you will come upon some place. Every yoke in Saul's life was destroyed by the power that came upon him. The Bible says that Samuel took a bowl of oil and poured upon him. Today I pour the oil of God upon you and I declare and decree yokes that have held you down must let you go, must let you go, must let you go. Do yaridi kabaradida. Yokes that have held you down must let you go and let you go and let you go and let you go. Herosha teliri kaba. Iranedabo. Irekebarosha. Karidiri bosha. Isakata liketitata. Irekata di karideta. Irebarati ketetata. Irebarato ratitita. Iramarata le retota. Irakabaro ruradate. Irabrarito ruradate. Every yoke that held you down must let you go. In the name of Jesus. Nanoshka yeda. Mare koto soka ikiki koto tara. Ziri borota li yaba. The anointing destroys yokes. The anointing destroys yokes. The anointing destroys yokes. The anointing destroys yokes. Ah! Every yoke that had held Saul down. Yoke of insecurity. Because he was insecure. The Bible says when he was being sought for to be made king, he went and hide inside among some things. Every yoke. The yoke of shame is destroyed. The yoke of insecurity is destroyed. The yoke of I'm not good enough for the blessing of God is destroyed. It's not, by, it's not by your goodness. In fact, you see, but I'm so terrible. Ah, Pastor Matthew, you know how many children have aborted. Isaiah 118. Do your sins be red. As scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Jesus washed you with his blood, and now you say you are not clean enough. What else can wash you? Every yoke, every yoke, every yoke, every burden that wants to hold you in yesterday destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
Kababa, Ejada, Ebrado, Irene, Kabrado, Eskadi, Taridosh, Ilebros, Itali, Kabrodish, Hidara, Ekraboshka, Heta, Hebro, Heshka, Hebra, Heshka, Hebro, Heshka, Kabro, Heshka, Hebro, Taleri, Heshka, Hidara, Hebrosha. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This morning I speak into your life, Isaiah 41 10. The God of your salvation. The God of your salvation shall show you mercy, shall show you mercy in every area of your life. Ah! Beyond your imagination. Wherever you are, I just saw somebody open their hand and saying, I'm receiving. Yes, it shall come to pass. Isaiah 41 verse 10, the God of your salvation will show you unusual mercy in 2024. Isaiah 41 verse 10, the Bible says, don't be afraid. I'm with you. Don't be discouraged. I'm your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold you up my, with my victorious right hand. The right hand of his victory has done wonderful things. I speak into your life that by the hand of the Lord there is victory in your house. By the hand of the Lord there is mercy in your house. By the hand of the Lord there is victory in your house. There is mercy in your house. There is victory in your house. In the name of Jesus, God will show you mercy in your family. Show you mercy in your finances. He will show you mercy in your ministry. He will show you mercy. Somebody on this altar today, things went down. And Satan has been preaching to you not to raise your hopes high. The devil is a liar. They scraped the hair of Samson. He became bare. Like an old hag. Very old woman. Who has no strength to reproduce. But suddenly, his hair began to grow back. The power began to come back. This morning, I see you where you are. And I prophesy to your life. You are coming back. You are coming back. You are coming back. With power. With glory. With dignity. With anointing. With making a difference. You are coming back. Your destiny is rising. The hair of Samson began to grow back. Grace began to be restored. Power began to come back. Iramata ya disha ya. Irabaka teliri kedo. Rinebe kasalari bada. Those who wrote you off, wrote you off too early. Aya, and in your coming back, it shall be double, triple, double, triple, triple, to quadruple, double, triple, triple, quadruple, quadruple, quintuple, quintuple, <laughs> sectruple, sectruple. <laughs> hey, God is going to take you to a new level. Matika koso kaya teleke talara. Akata ta 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 ta. Irabosa, hinta, hinto, preki koso kayedari. God of your salvation will help you in your finances, help you in the ministry, help you. Ah, there is a rising again. 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 Hayarosha! Everything that went down will rise again in the name of Jesus. Lebedosha, Hirabosa, Hikarabo Kataya, Hikayede Dara, Hinarozona Mate, Janunta, Rakosa, Raketish, Hibarosh, Hidikas, Hibaronishka, Hikedodoshka, Hikerebrosa, Hiranaman Teleda, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. All round break to all around breakthrough everything scheduled for 2024 shall manifest before your eyes psalm 102 verse 13 you shall arise and have mercy on zion for the time to favor her ah to show you blessing you did not qualify for doors major doors the time has come 
Nikira dosha. The time has come. The time has come. He kuturoza ya. He baka yeteli riba. He karedo rosha kayada. He karada da 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 da. He raborozi kiyade da da. Nambro ta ye ta teli rida. He rabaraba barolosha. He de 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 da. He de 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 da. He de 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 da. He da de 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 da 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 da. In Jesus name. Psalm 92 verse 12 and 13 says that those who remain planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish like the palm tree. I speak into your life this day. Yanata, Hirande, Talaza. Age has nothing to do with your coming flourishing. Yeah, 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 young or old, today I prophesy into your life all round breakthrough, financial breakthrough, emotional breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough. When we say emotional breakthrough, do you know there are people who never knew joy and they don't know how to get that joy because nobody ever taught them how to either give it or receive it. Today I break you from the chain of unhappiness. Every chain of sadness and gloominess and unhappiness, I break you free. 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 Every chain of perpetual sadness, perpetual unhappiness, surrounded by blessing and can't see the blessing. I set you free from it. All round breakthrough, emotional breakthrough, joy unspeakable and full of glory. Emotional breakthrough. I feel like staying here for one second. Somebody in this in this morning, morning glow needs to receive joy unspeakable. In the name of Jesus, joy unspeakable. Libero shayededa, yededa shayededa da 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 da. He kabrosa yada, he robo shayaya. Nandu zendi kai kabrosa leda. In the name of Jesus, joy unspeakable. That does the joy that cannot be explained. Receive it. Receive. It. Receive, 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 joy unspeakable. Joy that cannot be explained. That cannot be explained. Joy that cannot be explained. NIV calls it inexpressible joy and glorious as in people. Who have made others happy but don't know how to be happy. They just have never been taught. They've never been helped to find their happiness. Today, by the anointing of God, I destroy the yoke of, of sadness in your life. I destroy the yoke of sadness in your life. I destroy the yoke of unhappiness in your life. I destroy the yoke of tears without even crying. I destroy it. That thing that bowed your head and you could not even laugh. I remove it. 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 Inexpressible joy. The kind of joy you want to express, you don't even know how to express it. Receive, 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 receive in the name of Jesus. This morning I prophesied your life. The yoke of sadness, a broken spirit. There are people around with a broken spirit. Broken. Broken by an uncle who was tampering with you. Broken by a cousin who was tampering with your life. Broken by, by somebody. Broken by, by a teacher in school that your parent never knew. I set you free this morning. All round breakthrough. Because you see what's the use of being surrounded with millions. And you are an unhappy person. Today I pour into your life. A laughter, celebration, joy, unspeakable joy. Unspeakable, inexpressible. 
<laughs> listen to the message translation. It says, you never saw him, yet you love him. You still didn't, don't see him, yet you trust him. With laughter and singing, because you kept on believing. Laughter and singing. I speak into your life today, the kind of breakthrough that makes you to truly laugh from your spirit when you didn't even have much. I had it, Osha. Laughter because of what Jesus has done for you. Joy because of what Jesus has done for you. Celebration because of what Jesus has done for you. I speak into somebody's life today. I need to move from this. But there's somebody who needs something broken. Because you've lived perpetually under the yoke of sadness. I break it in the name of Jesus. TPT, the Passion Translation, puts it powerfully. It says you are saturated with an ecstatic joy. Indescribably sublime and immersed in glory. Man, this is, this is strong grammar to describe joy. It is expressed in a song we used to sing. The joy I can't explain fills my soul since the day I met Jesus my King. His blessed Holy Spirit is filling my soul. He is living and I'm learning to lean, learning to lean, learning to lean, learning to lean on Jesus, finding the power that I ever need. I'm learning to lean on Jesus this morning. I pray for somebody be someone, it could even be your husband, that have left you in a state of a broken spirit. You just, you're surrounded by abundance, you're an achiever, but you don't feel the achievement. You are blessed, but you don't feel the blessing. You're surrounded by great children, but you can't see their greatness. Tell me! I set you free. All around breakthrough, emotional breakthrough, laughter, celebration, joy. I tear the clothes of grief from your body from today. I remove the clothes of grief from your body. The Bible says put on the garment of praise in place of the spirit of heaviness. Heaviness is a spirit. It's not just an emotional condition alone. Ah, this day I pray for you all round breakthrough, all round breakthrough, all round breakthrough. Some people have never known how to laugh. They were praising hard churches. Hard! Men can wear Rolex, but the woman must not show her hair. What? What an imbalance. The man is wearing a watch that can buy 10 dresses. Buy some Rolexes. Can we buy more than that? I don't know who stole my, my most expensive Rolex. I've handed them over to Jesus. And they stole it after I gave my other Rolexes to my sons. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you see, that one that they stole, it's a presidential. I know some of you go and Google now. How much is presidential? I didn't buy it. I was blessed with it by one of my sons. He can buy, he can buy 50 dresses. Now imagine if I wore that and I'm judging you by the dress you wore and the hair you did. Tabby! I break you from religious spirit. So well, that's the kind of place we like to go and hide. Where they feel that your hair must always be covered until it is smelling. And they call it Bible. Which Bible? Which Bible? <laughs> and the Bible says with her hair uh, uncovered. You don't interpret scripture with one verse. How about where it says again, she has her hair as a covering. What is Paul trying to say? They wouldn't know. They wouldn't get to the theology of it. Today I set you free from unhappiness. I lose you. May you know the joy of Jesus. The, the Bible calls it the joy of salvation. It says with joy you will draw from the well of salvation. Many have never been to that well. Ah, 
from this morning you will go to the well of salvation. I pray for you today. Hira Baba Bosa, Hireke Talarizo, Hire Boroshe Yarabosa. From today you are drawing from the well of salvation. From today, you are drawing from the well of salvation. From today, you are drawing from the well of salvation. Hayakaya renoskeira hekabro hirebosha. From today, you are drawing from the well of salvation. Isaiah 12 verse 3. Therefore, with joy, did you hear that again? With joy shall you draw water out of the well of salvation. Born again, been in church 30 years. Dressed like African masquerades until husbands pass them by. Not to, from today, the joy of the Lord fills your life. Celebration comes to your life. Laughter comes to your life. Ah, God help the men who taught those kind of doctrines and their wives who joined them in teaching it and judging people the moment you showed. I read this scripture. It says, therefore, with joy, you shall draw out of the well of salvation. Ah, thank God the well of salvation was not fixed by man. Many of us won't be able to draw. They'll look at us and say, you, you are not good. My pastor, my father-in-law told me the story of the church. I think he first went to uh, when he got born again. And some people he knew who were born again. I'm not going to mention that church. Uh, so, some new convert hears that the church wants to cut the grass around the church and make the place nice. And the new convert came with his own cutlass and ready to have them cut the grass. And one of the spiritual leaders can say, hey, stop, don't cut. It is with the spirit that we walk for God, not flesh. A new convert that God never remained in Christ. Oh, let me read and pray for you. Whenever the Holy Spirit keeps me in a place, I know somebody is getting a breakthrough. So those of you who need money breakthrough this morning, here is where the Holy Ghost is putting us. Somebody is going to walk in on common joy from now on. From now on, you will not remind us of where we don't want to go to. You know where I'm talking about. Isaiah 12 verse 3, message translation. Joyfully, you will pull up buckets of water from the wells of salvation. And as you do it, you will say, give thanks to God. Praise the Lord. New American Standard Bible. Therefore, you will joyously draw water from the spring of salvation. You know what? People love those kind of churches that always tell them they are not good enough. Somebody wakes up and say, eh, I saw one sister in hell. I saw one uh, pastor in hell. Oh, so you are now God's confidential secretary for him to be showing you who went to hell. And when they tell you the story, they say, eh, because the sister was wearing trousers on her, Jesus, man, I didn't know when thread and needle was more powerful than the blood of Jesus. This morning. God will give you joy. You are walking in joy. You are walking in joy. You are celebrating with joy. You are moving in joy. Everything that stole your joy, we take it back. Anybody waiting for you to continue to be in a broken spirit, I release you in the name of Jesus. In the late 80s, early 90s, I met a widow. In one of our churches before we left the denomination we belong to. And this lady, she had come to London worship with us. I got to now visit her and her children only to find that the widow does not do anything without running it by how she thinks her husband in this, who died in the 60s will feel. When she wants to wear a dress, how will Tunji feel? When she wants to drink cup, oh, will Tunji like this? When she wants to... Uh, will, will this be the dress he wants? Are you married to a necro? Are you a necrophiliac? Necrophiliacs are those who love the dead. Be free! In Jesus' name. 
this morning. Nothing will keep your joy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I pray for you all round breakthrough. Ah, and somebody on the altar today, the news that will bring you joy is coming, is coming, is coming, is coming, is coming, is coming. The news that will lift your head is coming. Shout amen wherever you are. The news that will make you dance foolish dance in the presence of those who think you should carry yourself with dignity. The news is coming in the name of Jesus. David was doing some swagalicious dance. I don't know which dance he did. Maybe it's a zonto or whatever name. And his aristocratic wife, full of unhappiness from her father's house, judged him. Anyone who judges your joy, God will surprise them. Anyone who judges your happiness, God will shock them by giving you more joy, more to celebrate. 2024, I said it yesterday, I think in the evening glow, there will be something to thank God for every Thanksgiving Sunday. Every Thanksgiving Sunday. Every Thanksgiving Sunday. Each month of the year. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of 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 Jesus. New century version. Isaiah 12, 3 says, you will receive your salvation with joy as you will draw water from a well. That's how you'll be drawing your salvation with joy, with joy, with joy. The New American Standard Bible says, therefore you will joyously draw water from the spring of salvation. Many have not been allowed to enjoy their Christian life, to enjoy laughter, joy. What do you think heaven is? Just a bunch of uh, angels just playing harp, morning, noon, and night. Massive celebration. Massive. Massive. I mean, the God who can fix a party. <laughs> 2,000 years ago, he fixed a party in heaven celebration glory to God why do you think children were coming to Jesus Mark chapter 10 if he was an unhappy person children mark anyone children run from run from them I mark anyone children find comfort around children are the first sensors because their spirit is not yet judgmental their spirit knows where to go when children come alive in the presence of a person mark that person they carry a good spirit jesus was like that and his disciples hey you children go as he said suffer not the little children to come unto me for unto them is the kingdom of god for verily i say unto you whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of god like one of these he shall not enter and he carried them in his arms he was full of joy Nairosha. I pray for you today. I don't know why I'm staying here. Somebody today, this is your own bank account. An account full of joy. An account full of joy. An account full of celebration. An account full of joy. An account full of celebration. An account full of joy. And everyone who have made you sad in recent time, God will shock them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The New Living Translation says with joy, you will drink deeply from the fountain of salvation. You see, the level to which you enjoy salvation is how much joy it brings to you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't walk away from something that brings you intense joy. And that's why you read of some people and say, I'm no longer a Christian. Where did you find another joy? In alcohol? In sex? Where? There cannot be the kind of joy that comes from the Holy Ghost. I lay hand on someone today. Oh, I just saw a revelation. I just saw a revelation like an outburst. As they try to open, you know, I don't know if you've seen those uh, wooden kegs in which they hold alcohol. 
I saw as if they, they tried to open it, they exploded. From today, somebody is set free, 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 free. Laughter comes back, joy comes back to your life. Celebration comes back to your life. The things you see and you rejoice shall not live your life. The things you see and you are happy shall not disappear from your life. Your children will bring you joy. Your business will bring you joy. Your work will bring you joy. Your husband will bring you joy. Your your wife will bring you joy. Your children will bring you joy. Your connections will bring you joy. Your, your appointments will bring you joy. Your business will bring you joy. I wipe tears from your eyes. In the name of Jesus. You will draw from the well of salvation with joy. You know, I don't want to get to heaven. And they show me that I did not maximize my Christian life. As living living if a, a a a flaky life flake you know when something is flake it's very light when the snow falls and you take snow in your hand it just it's just so light it's so light you can see it but it, it almost has no weight when snow falls you don't know you don't hear the sound you just wake up in the morning as you push the curtain London is white. You didn't hear when it was falling, and yet it has filled the ground because it's all flake. Ah, from today, your life will not be flaky, but heavy joy, intense joy, supernatural joy, uncommon joy. I break grief from your life. I pour the oil of joy upon your life. I pour laughter. I pour celebration into your life from today. Celebration joy into your life from today in the name of Jesus. You know, verse 4 now says, Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. A man who is not joyful will not invite you to what he is not joyful about. If he is joyful about it, he will tell everybody, Man, you know, when we are when we're not saved, and we, I mean, palm wine was one of the things we drank. It had different taste according to the shop. We say, Man, that woman's palm wine, that man's palm wine is another level. And if it's tasteless, we say, Don't go there. Now, I tell you, drink from the well of salvation with joy so you can tell others. Joy will not cease in your house, celebration will not cease in your house. I prophesy into your life today the sound of joy. In the name of Jesus will be in your house. The sound of celebration will be in your house. The sound of goodness will be in your house. In the name of Jesus, the sound of joy and happiness will never leave your house. I prophesy today in the name of Jesus, things to celebrate will be around you. Psalm 37 verse 4, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. May the Lord give you every prayer point, every desire of your heart so you can rejoice. Isaiah 12 verse 2. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. I pray for you today. You will have reasons to pray and to magnify the Lord and trust him. Your eyes will see the goodness of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Romans chapter 15 verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Ah, he will fill you with joy and peace. He will fill you with joy and peace. Psalm 144 verse 15 is powerful. Ah, happy are the people whose God is the Lord. From today, may your laughter, may your joy, may your celebration increase. May you have reason to magnify God. Philippians 4, 4, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. You will rejoice over your breakthrough. You will rejoice over your health. You will rejoice over your healing. Grief is taken from your life. You will no longer wet your pillow with tears every night. Or rather laughter. Rather joy. 
rather celebration in the name of Jesus you will experience joy you will not know shallow pleasures but the joy of the Lord in the name of Jesus shallow pleasures come and go what the Lord has done stays with you may the joy of God stay in your house may the grace of God stay in your house may laughter stay in your house you will delight yourself in the Lord Psalm 37 verse 4 and he will give you the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus. Today we'll end with something to rejoice over. Go write it down. In the name of Jesus. Today we'll end with something to rejoice over. In the name of Jesus. God will put laughter in your heart. We'll close again with that scripture. With joy you will draw from the well of salvation. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. The sound of laughter is in your house. The sound of celebration is in your house. The sound of breakthrough is in your house. <laughs> they looked at, the woman looked at Solomon, Second Chronicles 9, 7. She said, how happy your people must be. Your officials are happy. All those who stand before you, they are all happy. Today may you ooze joy. May you ooze celebration. May you ooze happiness. May you ooze blessing. And may favor connect to you. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I'm sure you were blessed this morning. We had a powerful time yesterday night at the place of the evening glow. Tomorrow we'll see you in morning glow and evening glow. Tomorrow morning is communion. Get your bread and wine ready. There will be victory in your house. There will be testimony in your house. In the mighty name of Jesus. The three services this Sunday will be awesome. In the first service, live class, we are teaching the power of strategic planning. Too many people don't plan their life. They end up a mess. The power of strategic planning. The second service, 11 a.m., God wants to prosper you in bad times and good times, easy times and hard times. God will prosper you. The evening service this Sunday is a coming together of all the Christians in the Kent area to worship in KRCC Prayer City. What a joy we have to be the hosts for many years running. So, join us. 10th of December. Speaker will be Nikki Gumbo. You will be blessed. Praise the living God. Praise the Lord. I'd like to encourage you to be part of Touching Lives this Christmas as we prepare hampers to give the needy. People have needs. You can be a solution. One hamper is 40 pounds. Wouldn't it be powerful? If a family sat around Christmas to be able to say it came, yeah, it came from KICC, but KICC is a conduit. I tell you, I can guarantee you, I put millions into just blessing people I've never known. Clothing naked, blessing people, food, putting food on tables of people I do not know. But the joy it has brought me, I cannot even forget the day God spoke to me. Except for clothing these widows every year. Your generation will never walk in nakedness. I believe that. You see, that prayer, is, that prophetic word is powerful. Because when I was a kid, I was very brilliant. I, was, I led the whole school. But I went to school in tattered clothes. So God now tells me, that generation will never lack. So you can bless other people. Amen. The whole of the month of December is loaded. From 17th of December to the 23rd, we are going to have a Jericho breakthrough time of prayer. It's called Seven Days and Seven Nights. Seven Days and Seven Nights. That's on Sunday night, 17th. And then in the mornings, 9 to 11 from Monday morning. 
that 9 to 11 is going to be very unique. We're going to have everyone who wants to join, we're going to send you either a, a link that immediately makes you to connect by video. We will we'll have to mute you. You can be praying where you are as we lead. We want you to put your testimonies, send it to us, we'll read your testimony. It's going to be a unique one. During this Jericho conquest, live and direct immediate, there will be testimonies. There will be healings. There will be miracles. There will be word of knowledge. There will be turnarounds. There will be uncommon release of grace. It's going to be unique. Seven days and seven nights. Seven days and seven nights. In the evenings we will meet. We make it January, December 17 to 23, because 24 is a Sunday, 25 is Christmas, then we got 26 is Boxing Day, so you just have four more days of just only evenings, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'd like to encourage you on Christmas Day, wherever you are in the world, join Pastor Matthew for a very peculiar, unique message called the Christ Mass they could not kill. Or the Christmas they could not kill. The Christ they could not kill. The Christ mass they could not kill. Who's trying to kill Christmas? Are you killing Christmas? Is somebody around you killing Christmas? You want to know if you may have been killing Christmas? Or somebody around you may have been killing Christmas? Join me on Christmas morning. It's a beautiful day. It's candlelit. London, uh, uh, the London Orchestra, Choral Orchestra will be playing. KRCC Choir will be singing. It's going to be a beautiful one. KRCC production. There's going to be a short drama. The London Soloist Orchestra will minister. And then that message. The Christ Mass. They could not kill. Praise the Lord. Stay with us during this period of fasting, praying. Never tell yourself, I can't fast. Uh, my doctor said I shouldn't fast. Hmm, your doctor, I've never seen the brother and sister of battles of life. Look at what we just prayed and had deliverance this morning. Some people have never really known deep laughter, joy. Deepest, deepest joy. Joy that has no mitigation. Joy that has no encumbrance. Ah, joy that goes so deep. Happiness, laughter, that is genuine, not sardonic, not plastic, not generic. Praise the Lord. So join us tomorrow morning. Join us for all those various times. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. CCRW continues to be in your face. Can you believe we have a few things we are lining up even before the massive crusades? It is beginning to look like in my head I will do something in January. We'll come back to you with that. But in March, March 13 to 15, we're going to have a three-day conference for evangelists across Africa. We're going to put the news out there to the French world, Portuguese world, Portuguese African world, French African world, English speaking African world, and let them come to Cure Africa, Conference of Urban and Rural Evangelists. Praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. We close this morning with a strong confession to your life that the Lord will bless you, the Lord will keep you, the Lord will strengthen you, the Lord will uphold you. Grace will abound for you. You will not fail. You will not be disappointed. You will walk in victory. You will walk in testimony. You will be victorious. You will be more than a conqueror. You will be an overcomer. The blood of the Lamb will speak for you. Your faith will give you the victory that overcomes the world. Today, favor will surround you like a shield. And you will find favor in the sight of God and man. God will go before you. Crooked places will be made straight. Things that make you unhappy, God has taken care of them. He has turned them around. And I'm assuring you favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
the sound of laughter, joy, celebration is coming to your life. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, glory to God. Oh, praise the Lord. The Lord bless you richly. Kodogu Benis. Dios te bendiga. Dios te bensoy. Buana kubariki. Yebarikesh. Nyamishra. Nyamishra wai. Wariva kukumbrere. Mwamuzita ra yesu. Mkulu mkulu. Agubu sesi. Good morning. Saubona. God bless you.